Hello there everybody and welcome back to Sunshine Islands. It is the 18th day of winter. I don't actually have a ton to talk about today, but tomorrow is going to be quite busy for us because we are going to go to the mining festival and then afterwards we're going to go around the island and uh, get ourselves some birthday presents from the various villagers around the islands who have the appropriate amount of friendship. So it is going to be busy, busy, busy tomorrow. It's going to be probably a longer video, so I didn't want to just pile on extra miscellaneous stuff on top of that. So I do have just a couple of minor things to sort of talk about. Uh, you can see here that I now have over $200,000. I have taken a few days to do some mining and that has a lot to do with the amount of money that I have. You can see I've started to work up my lumber totals again. We're back up to 65 pieces of lumber. You can see here on my balance sheet that there are a few days where I've made $17,000 in mining, $8,000, $10,000, $16,000, and so on and so forth. So you can see that I've made close to $100,000 in this season already. And a lot of that other profit is just coming from animal goods such as uh, milk, eggs, butter, cheese, yarn, all of that good stuff. Looking in my cabinet here, uh, I have two gems that I've picked out that I could use for the mining festival tomorrow, and fingers crossed that we will be able to win. I have almost a max amount of adamantite in my cabinet here to continue building some maker machines. And I've managed to also get my supply of orichalcum up. Once again, we spent 60 pieces of it to buy ourselves the speed shoes and with the 79 pieces that I have now we can go to Charlie and actually buy another uh, accessory have another accessory made and still have stuff left over so mining is uh, very very worth it don't get me wrong but it is extremely time-consuming uh, it, I would say it takes me about an average of two to three hours of saving and reloading uh, and getting my way down to the floors that are actually worth anything every single time that I go. So I try not to do it every single day. It is worth it, but it is extremely time consuming and we have a lot to look forward to uh, in this season, so I don't want to dawdle. Our wedding is in a few days. We will have a nice romantic date with uh, our new wife on the Starry Night Festival. And then, you know, her birthday's coming up at the end of the season and we have the end of the year coming up as well. So out here on my farm, just gonna take a quick look around the field. You can see that it's looking pretty clear. I moved my yellow wonderfuls from uh, my brush into my hammer. I also purchased uh, a hammer with more wonderful slots in it from Ganon. You can see that I have all four slots filled and I was able to take out all of the different types of uh, boulders. So I have uh, one that's sitting over here still. But you can see in the area where the animals used to be, this is all completely cleared out. Um, so it's a lot bigger now for the animals. And I should be able to plant some more grass. And I'm also in the uh, process of moving the rocks and uh, replacing them with material stones. So you can see that I've kind of uh, done that for half of this area. I've started on uh, this side and uh, gone all the way around the bottom uh, through to the other side. I kind of just have the top to do now. Um, but this has been extremely time consuming. It took me all of one day just to uh, meticulously uh, get rid of the boulders and then go around and replace them. So I will do more of that on a day when I have nothing planned, maybe on a 
snowy day. Because I don't have a problem uh, stamina-wise. Uh, so it'd probably be a wise idea for me to do that on kind of a crappy day. Because if I go mining on a snowing day, then my stamina runs out quite quickly. So I am hoping to finish uh, this by the springtime. I still have lots of time left. My animals are finally in a spot where they're happy. I don't know why they were so unhappy for so long. Um, it's usually after the result of a blizzard they get unhappy because they've been un unfed and they get stressed out, but normally brushing them and talking to them and resuming their feeding will do the trick, but uh, it's taken quite a while for these guys to recover. I'm not quite sure why. But as long as their stress bar doesn't increase to the point where they get sick, it be them being unhappy doesn't really affect the game in any way. Uh, you can still milk your cows, your uh, sheep wool will still continue to grow in. It's just something that you kind of have to be mindful of. So, I'll feed them. I guess I should probably milk the cows while I'm here before I forget. I'll do that really quick and then we can move from the farm. I'll worry about putting all of that stuff through a maker machine later on because I do have some wool I also have to uh, put through a little bit later. So if we just quickly run into Chen's shop here, I have continued to faithfully check his inventory every single day and I still have not seen any wonderful pop-up in his shop at all, which I do find very frustrating, uh, but I just have to keep my eyes out and keep looking. That's all I can really do. And then if we look at Charlie's menu, of course, uh, we do have lots of options. Like I said, we can make the largest uh, stamina pendant if we'd like for uh, 60 pieces of orichalcum. We would still then have almost 20 pieces left over. Um, and that would also allow us to make the medium uh, stamina restoration accessory if we so choose. Uh, the other one that we haven't really uh, looked into or done much with is the Kappa Pendant to increase our fullness. Um, our fullness is still at uh, the basic. You can see there that we haven't increased it at all, but I haven't really needed to, if I'm being honest. I don't really find the fullness in this game to be an issue. Now that I have such a huge stamina bar, I will often go to the diner or the cafe to eat something anyways to increase my stamina. And by increasing my stamina, I also increase my fullness. And I have so much money at this point um, that even overeating in order to increase my fullness bar if it gets low just really isn't a problem for me. So, Maybe what we should do is get the large Harvest Goddess Pendant because I don't think more stamina has ever hurt us, ever. I think that uh, if we can get the max amount, then that would be an excellent thing. So we can replace our uh, medium pendant that we've had for a very, very, very long time. It served us very well. I'm curious to see how long the bar is gonna get. Okay. So, yeah, it doesn't quite touch the bar on the right-hand side, but it comes very close. So that is the full maxed out stamina bar, for those of you who are curious as to what that looks like. 
like I said, I will probably just keep that on my character. I have no reason why I wouldn't want more stamina. More stamina is an absolutely wonderful thing to have. Um, and so I don't have too much of a need anymore for the Aura Calcum. We do still have a lot of accessories that we could buy. Um, but for now, I think I'm pretty happy with where we are uh, in terms of our accessories. So I'll just take a moment to chat to everybody. Uh, the speed shoes have helped immensely, of course. Uh, even going around and talking to everybody uh, is not such a chore anymore because I move so quickly. I did have a little bit of difficulties wearing the shoes when I was mining. Um, I will probably take them off when I go mining. It's a little bit difficult to do the uh, precision type of stuff. And in that case, I would probably replace it with uh, the stamina restoring accessory. Uh, a medium one may make a little bit more of a difference than the uh, small one does. It's worth a try anyways. Not really much point in giving uh, Chelsea gifts anymore uh, because obviously we're not going to be able to see any more of her heart events on this save file uh, because we've already committed ourselves to the witch princess but uh, anybody who has watched any of my uh, Harvest Moon series in the past uh, will know that I always do my best to upload all heart events and uh, weddings and and such for all the characters and I've made separate save slots for that purpose as well. And I'm looking forward to seeing how many people I get uh, gifts from tomorrow. We should have quite an increase from last year. Uh, there are some villagers I think I've probably slacked on and uh, I probably could have made more of an effort, but uh, Denny, for example, was someone I had barely really made an effort with at all, and then uh, once I started getting the medium fish, I was able to uh, make his absolute favorite gift, and now I believe he actually is up uh, past seven hearts, so we'll have to see what that looks like tomorrow. Coming over to Ganon's now, I'm uh, kind of humming and hawing about all the different possibilities that I have for upgrade. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade the barn because we still have the uh, smallest size of barn and an upgrade is super cheap. When you consider how much money we have and how little time it is probably going to uh, take me to actually earn that money back. Just paying for that upgrade outright is absolutely no problem whatsoever. I may not fill the barn right away. I don't want to get too carried away and uh, add too many things to my list and and uh, whatnot. So we, I might not put uh, more animals in it. Uh, but it is a cheap enough upgrade that I do think it's worth getting. It's something that's a little bit overdue at this point. Uh, so we can see that tomorrow. And then if I decide I want another upgrade, we can ask Ganon after the festival tomorrow. have anything good for me today but nine fish is not that bad that's a good payoff I gave the ducks one fish in order to give me a hand and then I get eight in return which isn't so bad uh, normally I'll use the low D quality fish for their offering uh, for gifts and then uh, I'll also sell them
And we should go pay a visit to Witch Princess because her dialogue has changed. Uh, after you propose, your bride or your groom-to-be gets uh, quite excited. Her greeting doesn't change, but if I talk to her... It says, I can't believe I married a human. She's getting a little ahead of herself. We're not married yet, but uh, you can see that she is still quite excited. And I'm excited too. There will only be a few more days before we get married. And I am interested to see what the wedding ceremony is going to be like because, like I said, it'll be more of a private uh, affair with probably just her and Witchkin, I would imagine. And you can see that these speed shoes are saving me an immense amount of time. Uh, I have the money to buy the teleport stone, but I just haven't because I think it would still save me some time, but uh, I'm saving so much time with these shoes that I think the teleport stone would kind of be overkill. I will buy the stone at some point just to uh, show it off and just kind of demonstrate how it's used, but... Uh, it's noon, and aside from skimping on the gift giving a little bit, you know, I haven't taken the time to, like, give everybody a gift, uh, and maybe not be as thorough as I would be playing off screen. For the most part, this is a lot of my routine that you guys are seeing. Uh, I feed the animals every day, I check Chen's shop to see if there's a wonderful to buy. I go around and talk to everybody, I give out gifts, uh, then I go to the various islands, I check on animals on Animal Island, uh, go to the Mystic Islands, go to Mushroom Island, and then I do whatever I want with what time I have left in the day. So this would be a good day to do some more mining. Um, if I wanted to, if I wanted to do some fishing, I could do that. This would also be a good day to uh, try and finish up my fence. And I pretty much have all day, and if I run out of uh, stamina, I just go uh, and eat something at the diner or the, or the cafe, and I'm good to go. So I will probably be out working until 10 or 11 at night, uh, and then I will go to bed and the mining festival will be taking place tomorrow. One other thing that I've kind of forgot to talk about when I was at Ganon's shop is that I've been saving these mythic stones. Now, these are very rare. Uh, they are only found on a few different floors. They can be found on floor 50. And other than that, they are only found on floors 250 to 254. So these stones are found in five different floors of the mine. And I've been setting them aside because they can be used to upgrade your furniture. And uh, my understanding is that upgrading your cabinet or your fridge to a mythic uh, stone uh, type of piece of furniture would pretty much increase the likelihood that your items would stay um, fresh for a very, very, very long time. I don't think the items in your fridge would ever rot, ever. Uh, which, I mean, is a good thing, but you need 100 of those stones in order to do one upgrade. And I do believe on top of that, Ganon also charges like a million dollars for it. Um, we'll have to look at that tomorrow when we go to Ganon's and he lets us look at his upgrade menu. And I think that's really absurd, especially considering that I don't have an orange wonderful. I'm only able to get one of these stones per rock and they're very, very rare. Um, so what I discovered is that these are worth almost $5,000 a piece. These are worth around, I would say, $4,500 if you're shipping anything less than an S quality stone, 
So even this low grade D quality stone would be probably worth four to five thousand dollars. So I think I'm going to just sell them. I don't know that showing off a mythic stone upgrade is something that I'm ever going to get the chance to do, assuming that the game still continues to uh, block me in getting some orange wonderfuls. It would take a very, very long time to get a hundred of these, and it would also cost me a lot of money. So I think I will start by just maybe taking five out and shipping them, and if they are as worth uh, as much as I think they are, then that would really help us out. We could buy more upgrades, animals, whatever it is that we wanted to do. So that's pretty much all I had to talk about, I think. There wasn't anything else that uh, I've been doing in the meantime except for just playing and uh, doing my usual routine. I didn't find anything abnormal, uh, nothing to really update everybody on. So I'm going to finish up my day today and we will be back tomorrow for the mining festival as well as our birthday. Thank you all so very much for watching and I hope that I will see you next time.